so just like that I told y'all I was gonna make another video so you got more content coming your way but today we going to tune Geneva I actually got a special guest today my homeboy pulled up on me with his Jeep it is a lot cleaner you see the paint job and the wheels check out the angle on that photo there you go give him some okay you ain't have to do all that <laughs> It's black too, but he he won't pop his hood. Don't know. He's scared to pop his hood, and I don't know why he's scared to pop his hood, but he's scared to pop his hood. But uh, I'm going to get to y'all when we get to this location. Go. Hi, I'm Daniel. This is my 1988 RX-7 10AE. Actually, Rafi, the shop owner of Three Face Racing, built the turbo manifold and actually rebuilt this engine maybe about five years ago. So it's, uh, it's a turn blown TDX 61R, and uh, actually we're, we're about to put in um, an EFR. Uh, really? Yeah. So i uh, gonna going to do an overhaul. You know, the, the GT35 base turbo is getting a little, uh, a little long in the tooth, so to speak. Want to talk numbers? Because it looks deadly. I would not race you if I pulled up next to you. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Yeah, believe it or not, I don't think that we've had it on the dyno with this particular setup. So, you know, when it's running right and, <laughs> and everything's working the way it's supposed to, I, I think that we kind of guessed it would be around 375. Okay, um, but then the chassis is kind of light, right? Yeah, I think the last time I had the car weighed with me in it, it was about 2,700 pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, now. Nah. 2,750. If you see this car, don't run up on it. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> the way he's looking at it, though, he's saying it ain't all that. <laughs> yeah, right, right now it's, it's acting up a little bit on us, so I think when we put it on the dyno, we, we turned the boost down a couple pounds the other day, and it's just not acting right, so, you know, I think I'd be happy with anything in the neighborhood of 350, but. I got turn you. Turn the boost back up. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to make you some power saws everything. <laughs> Okay, so make them run it back. Make them run it back. Bunch of mess and his look good for the time being but I told him he got he got one month and I guarantee my shit gonna be looking way better than his and gonna be faster than his he won't pop the hood right now he said until we race he won't pop his hood so I'm not gonna say that I'm a race but some extracurricular activities may kind of pursue after that shit so we'll see what's I'm up next my boy what you gotta say you going next I'm going next what you gotta say we finna see what that slow shit do that man just a hater, but I'm telling you, if she blow up, it'll be all right. No hard feelings. It's a BQ. I get my hands on another one. Don't blow up on me.
240. I'll take and it. you made it in less. Yep. Yeah. I'll take it. As y'all can see, your boy is sweating. It's another hot one outside, but it's about, what, two hours or so since the dyno run and all that, and I had a feeling something was gonna happen, and something told me not to do it, but then again, I read the windshield, and it said send it, so that's what I did. And now, your boy got a couple more uh, check engine lights to add to the collection. So, uh, one is his ABS code, which I'm sure probably is somewhat concerning to brakes because it's about time for me to change out the brakes and pads so i'll do that soon but a camshaft code came on and with that code on it's kind of made the car run a little weird uh right now she's doing what she's doing but if i cut on the ac or do anything abnormal it'll just die which is never a good thing but you know that gives me more content and uh more headache but she still fires up That's not normal either. It never used to take that long to start up. And now you can see the ABS light is on with another check engine light. I just, I had that feeling. Something told me not to do it, but I said I'm going to do it for y'all. And I did it for y'all. And I sent it a little too hard. I uh, got more content coming for y'all. Like I told y'all, I was going to be more consistent. So that I am. Yeah. I told y'all I got y'all for real this time. But uh, Geneva, she's still here. She rocking. I'm starting to miss my girl, Helga. I wish I never got rid of her because, man, oh, man, that car was beautiful. I used to put $15 in the gas tank. And gas in Georgia is not that expensive as it is other places. But that $15 would last me for about two weeks of just constant driving. I miss that. With Geneva, I'm at the gas station every what? two to three days putting 30 40 dollars in her and it just it guzzles gas i don't even drive that crazy i'm lying but you know i got what i paid for i told y'all i got it for a good price and now i see why i'm selling it for so low but just stick with me it's your boy j-lo and we uh we out here rocking be easy stay breezy follow me on instagram got my tag up here that's where i'm the most active at and uh any comments feedbacks good or bad Either comment them down below or hit me up on Instagram. Let me know. If y'all know any automotive mechanics in the Georgia area, let me know that specialize in BQs because she's starting to give me a headache. So, aside from that, it's been real. I'll catch y'all beautiful folks later.